Okay. The reason being that if you consult, you know, after the class, like in the evening or um, any other time before or after the class, I, I would definitely be slow in responding to your questions because I'm also doing other things, working from home for the Public Affairs and International Relations Office under Sir Carlo, as well as, of course, helping out here at home. Okay, so next we're going to clarify if there's any confusion uh, about online activity one, because I know that there are still some of you who have not yet submitted online activity one. So simply put, in online activity one, uh, you had to watch two videos and then there were guide questions. So the instruction is, please email your answers for video one and video two in the body of just one email. And also provide your answers in just one MS Word file. So you might be wondering why why must there be two copies of the same answer? One in the body of the email and the other as an MS Word file. Okay, so first I access my emails usually on the go. So if I read what's in the body of the email. However, um, if Later on, the teachers are instructed to forward, you know, the submissions of the students in the, in the subjects, then I would forward the MS Word file. So that's the reason why there has to be two copies. The body of the email is what I'll read on my phone while I'm on the go, while I'm doing things. And then the MS Word file is just in case um, the college might ask for a copy of all the outputs, all the online activities. So regardless, the file name and the subject of the email are the same. Subject, first name, online activity one. Okay. And then for online activity two, so I think this also needs clarification because as far as I know, wala pang nagsasubmit ng online activity too. So please be reminded that the two online activities, they, um, they, they will constitute the percentage of the tentative final grade that isn't the major output. So it's, they're also important. So some of you might think, oh, I'll just do the written interview and that's enough. Okay, yes, it has the biggest percentage to written interview, but what about the other parts of the final? So those are online activity one and online activity two. And if you also recall, the quizzes we had during the midterm, they will be carried over to uh, the final and combined with online activities, but the midterm quizzes will have a smaller weight. So the, the, the bigger weight still goes to the online activities when combined with the midterm quizzes. Okay, so please do not neglect the online activities. They're also important. Okay, so what is online activity two? Let's clarify what you're supposed to do. So you will make one collage each of two market competitors. So when Thinking of which market competitors you're going to choose, choose market comp competitors with very distinct positioning or very distinct branding strategies. So they, they are very different in how they approach positioning and branding, but they are, um, at least in the perception of the public, they are competing with one another. They are considered rivals. Okay, so there will be one collage for the first brand and another collage for the second brand. So in total, you have to make two collages. Okay, so the next thing to do is to explain the choice of images for each collage. And as usual, you will email them to me with 
the subject surname first name, but this time online activity two. Okay, and the explanation. How many explanations? Again, there will be two. One explanation for the first brand collage, and the second explanation for the other collage of the other brand. Okay, so how will you send it? You will attach a copy of the explanations in an MS Word file following the usual format. So when we say, good morning, so when we say the usual format, I think, I hope anyway, I hope by now you know my format because um, I think you've been my student since first year. So needless to say, it is one inch margins, double spaced, Indention, every new paragraph, um, what else? Times New Roman, font size 12. Okay, so name as, uh, name the file as surname, first name, online activity 2.doc, and then you will embed the collages in the MS Word file. So what's going to happen? Now we not then, huh? With regards to the explanations for the collages, there will be two copies for the explanations. Again, one in the body of the email so that I can read the explanations while I'm on the go. I can just read it on my phone. And then another in the MS Word document uh, so that in case the college asks for a copy of the online activities, then I can just uh, send the MS Word files. Okay, but here's the but. The collages themselves, how many? Two, right? One for each brand. They will be embedded in the MS Word file. Okay, so, sana klaro, yung explanation, explanation 1 and explanation 2, magkasama sa body ng email, magkasama rin sa isang MS Word file, pero yung mismong collage, yung pictures, paki-embed po, kasama na explanation sa MS Word file. Okay? So, if that's not yet clear, let us explain further. So this is the example. So anong laman ng MS Word file? The unang picture, collage one, and for for our example, we're using Pepsi and Coca Cola. So for example, the collage about Pepsi, followed by the explanation. So what will we explain? Tungkol dun sa collage, we'll explain our choice of images. So I chose images of people having fun or I chose an image of uh, Santa Claus holding a Coca-Cola bottle. So you explain your, your choice of images. You might also explain the size. Why is the central image the biggest? Why is it at the center? That's the arrangement. Why is it at the center? Why is the logo at the center? You can also explain color. Why did I choose to make this picture black and white? Maybe it's to, to draw attention to that particular picture. Okay, so again, you can talk about the choice of images, the sizing of the images, the color of the images, the arrangement of the images. So these are all artistic choices. So if online activity one was more about um, exercising our cognitive uh, skills, this the, uh, online activity two, well, it also has that, but it's more on exercising our artistic side. So you have to explain your artistic choices. Bakit ganito yung ginamit kong images? Bakit ito yung sizing? Bakit ito yung nasa gitna? Bakit ito yung kulay? Etc. Okay, and still included in the explanation is what can you say about the positioning or branding of the product? So you'll do the same, all of the same uh, steps for the second collage. 
Okay? So, sana klaro po, no? Dalawa ang collage. Dalawa rin po ang explanations. So, next we have, well, an example of what a collage could look like. So, you can use um, digital images, put them together using an app on your smartphone or maybe an app or software for a PC. Um, or you could do collages the old-fashioned way. You can cut out pictures from a magazine or a newspaper and then combine them in different ways. So you can do either digital, straight to digital collage or you know you start out first with paper and then you take a picture when you finish putting the paper pictures together. Okay, so be creative. Here's another example. So this one probably would be more easily done using paper, real, real pictures, not digital, because the edges overlap and something like this, you'd probably have to cut them out to get the shapes, you know, um, done correctly. Whereas this one, you could probably use software because it's just a grid. You just combine different squares together into one picture. So you have the freedom to choose uh, the style of the collage as long as you're able to explain properly how you came up with your artistic choices. Okay, so that's on online activity too. So going back to our checklist, the first uh, two items, of course, we already talked about them. So please do not forget our online activities. And then also, uh, sana within this week, uh, kasi babalik na po kami sa opisina starting Monday. So Sir Carlo, me, Ma'am Ina, we're all going to return to our office work in uh, the main campus so take advantage of this week before Monday to have your letters and interview questions checked for grammar and for other possible comments. Okay? Sir, ang reads po, may pasok na raw po kaya? I don't know, Jones. Sino bang contact person yung sa reads na pwede yung pagtanungan? Sir Carlo, please. Mm-mm. Kasi ang alam ko lang, yung uh, nag-meeting kami sa NTP, so kami po, uh, both NTP for, for Kanyakao and Main Campus, sa Monday, balik na po kami, lahat magsasama-sama sa Main Campus. Okay? So as for the reads, uh, maybe you can ask uh, kung, kung, saan, kung kanino kaya under sa, sa school, which office, pwede kayo magtanong siguro doon. Okay, and okay, then okay. So this one actually I posted the link to this in our group chat. I want ko lang kung napansin ng iba kasi na patungan na ng ibang messages, no? So this is the sample format for the letter, and as you will notice, it's different from our usual, our AKA the usual format, no? Uh, also known as the usual format. This letter format is different in that it's single-spaced. Sa letter lang po ito ha, just to clarify. It's single-spaced pero double between the paragraphs. And mapapansin nyo po, left aligned lahat, wala nang indention. So left, justified sa left margin lahat. Okay. Now, um, if you already submitted a letter for me to check, don't worry, you can still uh, change the, the format when you submit it with all the other final output requirements. Okay, so, siguro ang babaguin lang natin dito sa sample letter na to is the font. So, we will retain uh, Times New Roman 12. Okay. So again, ang babaguin lang dito sa format for the letter is the font. It should still be Times New Roman 12. 